Hello everyone and welcome back to Hannah's Happy Home. Today's video is going to be the complete makeover of our kitchen. We're starting all the way back when we first got the keys to this fixer-upper house. This is what the kitchen looked like. There was red walls, red stained concrete floor, the ceiling was down really low, there was a very heavy texture on the walls, and so we're just going to take you through the whole process today from start to finish and show you everything that we did to give this kitchen a complete makeover. The first thing that we did was to remove the arched walls that were right here beside the kitchen. That just really helped to open up this main area of the house, helped to bring in more light into the kitchen, and just made the room feel larger. We removed the light fixtures from the ceiling in the kitchen and then at this point is when we hired contractors to come in and work on the house. We hired them to get rid of that really heavy texture on the wall. They removed that and then they put on a new lighter texture, painted everything, and we also had them lift up the ceiling here in the kitchen because as you can see the ceiling was down really low. So we decided to take it up as high as the rest of the ceiling in this main area of the house. That was a little bit tricky because there was some duct work that ran through the ceiling up here so they had to move some of that and just ended up being a little bit more of a process than we thought it would be but we never regretted it it was one of the best decisions that we made in this kitchen because it just transformed it so much made it feel bigger and taller in here and yeah we're just so happy that we went ahead and did that Okay, so at this point they were ready to start doing the new texture on the walls and then they could put on the primer and the paint and paint completely transformed this kitchen as well. As you can see here, it's so much brighter and this paint color in the kitchen and in the entire house is Agreeable Gray by Sherwin-Williams and this was an exciting time during the home renovation because we would always come up here every evening excited to see what the contractors had gotten done in the house and yeah, it was just a fun time to see it transforming every single day. After the walls and the ceilings were painted, Jalen built these cabinets all the way up to the ceiling. I showed him a few inspiration pictures off of Pinterest and then he came up with this build all on his own. He did an awesome job on this. It turned out amazing. At this point, the new doors were installed. They painted my pantry. We had the lights installed here in the kitchen and then I came in here and I filled in all of the nail holes in the tops of these kitchen cabinets where Jalen had added on this extra part here and then also a few spots on the cabinets as well. Jalen installed the floor trim here in the kitchen and around the doors and then I came in and filled in all of the nail holes there. We did the touch up paint. Jalen did this little design over here on this side of the cabinet and then at this point it was time to start a very huge job and that was painting these kitchen cabinets. We had no idea what we were getting ourselves into when we first started this but it was a huge job. It may not be that way for everybody but I would not recommend it. I don't know if I'll ever paint kitchen cabinets again. So before we started taking off doors and drawer fronts, we made sure that everything was labeled. We used blue tape and labeled the cabinets and then the doors and then also the drawer fronts and then put a label on the inside of the drawers. And then I took off all of the cabinet doors, all of the drawer fronts. I stacked them up and started to wash them. You have to be sure that your doors are completely clean before you start painting. There is 
a whole dedicated video over on my channel of the whole process of us painting these kitchen cabinets. I take you through it step by step. So if you want more details, I'll link that video down below. And all of the clips that you're seeing in the first half of this video basically are from our home renovation series. I think there's about 25 episodes in that playlist and we take you step by step through the whole renovation. So if you are new here and you want to see those, I'll link them down below. Ended up doing black hardware on the kitchen doors. These poles are from Cosmas Hardware. I'll put a link down below and I will try to link everything that we use in this kitchen down below in the description box. So if you want a link for anything, hopefully it should be down there. The next thing that happened in this process is that we had our contractor come back and replace the glass doors that used to be here with a large window. And then we sold our black fridge and we installed this new stainless steel fridge. Now I know that if you've been watching my channel for a long time, then you've already seen all of the footage in this video, but this kitchen renovation has been stretched out for over a year. So I thought it would be really neat to just combine all of the footage into one video so that you can see it transform from start to finish in just one video and see the official before and after and everything. I like to do this for each room in the house just because it's really neat to look back on the whole process in one video just for that room. Here Jalen is installing a new blind in the kitchen window. This one is from Tilt. I'll put a link for it down below. We added wood to the front and side of this area right here where the bar stools go. It just gave it a little bit of something extra, kind of beefed it up a little bit. And then we painted that the same color as the kitchen cabinet. So it all kind of blended in, but just seeing the stacked wood horizontally just does give it a little something extra. Then we installed a new stainless steel hood over the stove. And then Jalen installed under cabinet lighting under all of the cabinets. I think it only took about two boxes of these. I'll be sure and link them down below, they're from Amazon. Okay, so now we are in the final stretch of this kitchen makeover here. We're removing the old kitchen countertops and the old sink and the plywood. And then we are having someone come and install new kitchen countertops that we ordered from Home Depot. And here Jalen's making some new floating shelves for the kitchen. And then I filled in all of the nail holes and the cracks with some wood putty. And then I stained this with special walnut stain and then finished it off with some polyurethane.
Okay, now our new countertops are getting installed. We ended up going with a solid surface countertop from Home Depot. The color of these is Aurora Cloud. And then they also installed our new Krause sink while they installed the countertops. And then Jalen's going to install the faucet here. And stay tuned because here soon at the end of the video, I'll show the official before and afters of this kitchen. It's a crazy transformation. The final step is to install the backsplash and the new stove and then this kitchen will be complete. What a journey it has been over this last year and piecing together this video has reminded me just how much of a journey that has been, not just here in the kitchen but in this entire house. We have worked so hard this year on this house and now as we're coming close to being completely finished with the house just going back and looking at the old footage and seeing all the work that we have done just reminds me how far we've come and how hard we've worked a renovation house is definitely a lot more work than you think it's going to be when you first go into it but in the end it is so rewarding to look back and see how far you've come how much the house has transformed and just to see this house turn into our home Okay, so it's time for the best part of these makeover videos, which is the before and the after. that you enjoyed this complete kitchen makeover thank you so much for watching and we will see you in a couple days with a brand new video bye